Hello. Happy 2024. It is January 1st, 2024. It's a whole brand new year. We get to leave behind the things that uh, vexed us last year and we get to move on into the future. Um, I haven't been doing my exercises. That's going to change. Um, been kind of a rough kind of week uh, health wise. Some weird things happening. Um, come to find out that I can't, uh, I just can't drink alcohol anymore. Every time I drank a beer, my legs swelled up. Um, some weird reactions too. I had one case where I was drinking Coors regular beer and and I got reactions like three times in a row and that was just with like two, three beers. I wasn't drinking, you know, mass quantities. And I was like going, well, okay. Um, <clears throat> I had this with Yangling too. I had to stop drinking Yangling. And, but I was drinking other beer and not having a problem. So I went out and bought me some Belgian beers and there was this other beer was on sale, another Belgian beer, which is kind of cool. Uh, got in uh, silver cans. Four of them. It was a four pack of Giant. And I got them and uh, I drank two of them and both both of my uh, my calf muscles in the back of my legs swelled up. Like I had been, the way I characterized it is like I've been carrying uh, bundles of shingles up a ladder. And when you get done doing that for a whole day, the back of your calf muscles, because of the angle you go up the ladder, it feels like your calf muscles are going to fall off. They're so tight. And that was the kind of reaction I got. So I was like, going, you know what? And I tried one more of uh, the other Belgian beers, and it just didn't set right. I'm like, going, you know what? I think the good Lord's telling me something here. I think I gotta, I gotta, I just think I gotta stop, you know. And it's no big deal. Uh, I drank beer my whole adult life, but it's not something that I crave. I mean, it's nice to have, you know, a beer every now and then and get kind of lost in it, you know, be in your house or whatever, but it's no big deal. And uh, going to Charlestown, going to any casinos out the window. Um, you get into a mindset with that kind of stuff that you just never win enough money. You just don't appreciate the money. I mean, you, you can be a winner and never walk out of there with money. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. You know? Um... No, I still throw a dollar at the, or two dollars at the Virginia Lottery, but I won't spend a, a whole bunch of money. The, the odds of winning the lottery are, lottery are zero. Let's be honest, they're zero. The likelihood of any of us winning the lottery is pretty much nothing. And they don't want you to know that. So the best thing is if you're going to be in it, um, just spend as little as possible to be in it. If, you, if there's like a billion dollar uh, drawing, just buy one ticket. Because that's all you need to do to win. And the odds are, uh, even if you buy, if you even if you spend a thousand tickets, you know, you spend two thousand dollars and buy a thousand tickets, um, the odds don't go down that much. You're still looking at, you know, four hundred million to one. <laughs> so, uh, this has been an interesting week. Um, yeah, and you, but thank God I started to fast. I can tell you I started to fast today. Um, uh, had some reactions to some meals I was eating. I ate at uh, Golden Corral, and it just didn't set right. And not the food, I don't think. I think it was just maybe the selection I made, or maybe I just ate too much bacon, or but man, I got eating that stuff, and the overwhelming taste I got was uh, grease. And it was, and I, it, it's not. I'm just telling you, it wasn't the food. It was something going on with me at the time. 
and I, it, it sort of stopped me eating. I was, uh, I got two plates, two full plates, and they were good while I was eating them. And um, I actually made a video of that, but I probably won't post it because it wasn't, uh, it just didn't come out too well. But uh, just kind of a off week to end 2023. And that was a good way to end it, to be honest with you, because 2023 was an uneven year. Um, the good parts of it were wonderful. I mean, I got friends that invited me up to their places to just hang out, and that's outstanding, you know. And my neighbors here are outstanding. I'm very blessed to live where I live. Uh, my health has been up and down. Um... My strength is good, but I can definitely tell that I've got to ratchet down on some bad things. Number one being no alcohol. I just I have to be one of these people that you come to my house and we'll make you some tea and I'll make you. I'll give you a Deer Park water or you know, uh, um, hell, I might even I might even offer you a a original Red Bull drink because believe it or not, the original Red Bull drink now not not the diet. Not the light can. The light can's got aspartame. But the original diet drink, uh, the formula there is doesn't have a bunch of uh, doesn't have a bunch of odd shit in it. And so I, I find that rather hilarious. But it, it it goes back to the time when the gentleman who formulated the original formula made it. Um, he was looking for th ways to uh, jack up your energy level in a natural way. Um, of course, and then they went and put aspartame in their diet, which is poison. So, anyway, not trying to be a downer today. Just giving you a heads up. Um, very happy to be working. I've got a good friend of mine who's retired, and he's coming to find out that he's going to have to be working. And really the sad thing about that is is that uh, when he retired, and I hear everybody say this, get Medicare, get Medicare, get Medicare, get Medicare. you got to have Medicare. Well, guess how much his Medicare is going to cost him? And this is because he has to, you don't get just the A schedule which is free you got to get a B a C and a D schedule you got to get other insurance to make up for the 20% that Medicare doesn't pay he's gonna be paying close to four hundred dollars a month for his insurance for his health insurance through the government that's a lot of damn money when you're retired dude that's a lot of money four hundred bucks is the difference between eating you know this just between you know, going somewhere and enjoying yourself. Um, when you're retired and you're only kicking back, you know, two grand a month and, you know, hell, $1,400 of that goes to where you live. That leaves you $600, you know. And then, here's $400, that leaves you $200 to eat on. And then, you know, you've got to clean your clothes. you got to have, you know, that leaves nothing. That leaves nothing. So he's looking at going back to work. Um, just a strange situation. But I will say this. And I will say this till the day I die. I <clears throat> am very blessed. Um to have the Lord in my life every day. He's with me now. Um, he's the reason that I got the warnings about my legs, about the alcohol. He's just telling me, you know, look, you know, you don't need this, Phil. You, you had grandparents who never drank that lived till they were 95 years old, you know. You've had friends who were old people who, they, you know, and then you, then of course you had other old people who drank whiskey every day. So I have no, and they lived until they were a hundred years old, you know. But that's not who you are. So you have to, whoever you are, you have to live who you are. Don't ever 
look at other people and go, uh, why this, why that? I don't do that either, you know. Um, I'm always looking for what works for me, and it's looking like what works for me is no alcohol, which is fine. Um, I was very surprised because, uh, you know, I, I had went out, there was a good deal on this Coors at Giant. They had a, just had a sale on it. 24 cans for like, I don't know, I think it would be $20, something like that. So I said, well, screw it. I'll buy this. It'll last me a couple of weeks, right? And I bought it, and it did could last a couple of weeks, but boy, I... Like I said, my legs started going, this is not working for us, you know? <laughs> I'm like going, okay, I, I'm listening. You know, and I kept pounding that drum. I kept trying to find a way to enjoy a, a cold brewski. And, uh, and then really this, this kind of, I mean, even, I'm an all or nothing kind of guy. You know, I mean, it's the way I've always been. If you're going to do something, do it all the way. And you're know, trying to do a cheat it never works in my life. So, uh, and I thought about, you know, maybe I just drink that no alcohol beer. But it's it might be not the alcohol. It might be a gluten thing because you know, there's weed in beer. And who knows? But I'm happy with my, uh, I'm about to go in here and make me a uh, an Earl Grey and peppermint tea sit back and relax also I'm backing off on my coffee a little bit too and now my coffee when I make my coffee which is I have Folgers regular coffee and I have my uh, I call it nuts and bolts coffee it's chock full of nuts coffee but uh, it's in the yellow and black can and it's good coffee but when I make my coffee I don't have no problem but if I buy coffee out um, really irritates my uh, my prostate I mean, you get the, the pee dribbles, you know? And I'm like going, that doesn't make no sense, man, you know? But why would I want to do that? Why would I want to walk around pee dribbling all day, <laughs> you know? So I had to limit my coffee intake, too. But uh, tea never does that. Tea, tea will make me pee, but uh, that's actually a good thing, you know? But then I drink my Deer Park water. Uh, but so it's we're heading into 2024 and we're making some adjustments and things are going good and I hope things are going good for everybody out there um, always keep the Lord in your life man always keep the Lord in your life always invite him into your day he's right there with you he's just he's just saying look you're here because you're being tested and I'm here to help but to help you you got to let me in your life so let the Lord in your life let him, enjoy, let him enjoy helping you. And it's not going to be always easy. There's going to be struggles. There will always be struggles. I was putting a light in yesterday, and everything tried to fight me. And that was what I said to it, too. I told that right to the light. I said, everything has to fight. I was flipping wires around and, you know, putting my wire nuts on and dropping. I was dropping screws, little teeny tiny screws under the light ladder 10 feet to the ground I said that's gone you know and I got down on the ground I said it, it, you know I know I'm not going to find this screw I mean I've run my whole line of miracles my miracles are run out and sure enough I moved I moved my my left foot and it was right under my left foot and I said thank you Lord I appreciate it and we got that light housing in there I got to do a bunch of little wee rewiring stuff and, uh, I've got to you never, ever stop working if you have your own place. Even if you have an apartment, there are things you want to do in your apartment. So there's always work to do. And that's the thing I, I would also say, too. Keep your mind busy. I'm going to trim back this computer stuff because uh, the stuff I'm seeing on YouTube is a lot of nonsense. There's a lot of nonsense. Um... And um, I, I have my hobbies. I mean, uh, firearms is one of my hobbies. Um, I like maintaining my car. I like maintaining my yard. Um, I like to work. And uh, I got things to do. Uh, but 
one of the things that's really irking me about these computers is, is they don't want to listen to what you tell them to do. They want to do what they want to do. I was just in here researching some stuff for my lights on the computer, and I went to enter in my search subject, and the computer just went on its off on its own, trying to guess what I wanted. And I was like going, this is ridiculous. You wait until I tell you what to do, and you do what I tell you. <laughs> and if you're not going to do that, I just won't turn you on. And uh, part of that is because that's still got Microsoft Edge on it. And I can't get that off of it because it's wired into the program. Uh, and I find that very infuriating. But uh, that's between me and Microsoft. And that's okay because we'll come to an understanding. I'll just turn your shit off. <laughs> you know? And I was leaving the uh, computers on in the house and playing this music. This calming music. But I don't know. I'm going to start turning this stuff off. And finding stuff to do outside, you know. I got. I, I've got to get back on the bicycle because uh, my legs. All the driving I'm doing is very bad for my legs. I mean, uh, when I was working in the field as an installer and I was working an eight-hour day, we get to our job and usually we drive about a half hour to where we was working and we'd work all day. We'd be up on our feet all day you know, eight, seven hours, you know. But with this job I got now, hell, I might drive five hours. And I'm up on my feet about an hour. And your body's not made for that. Your body's not made for that. One of the things you need to know, or at least I'm going to say it, I don't know if anybody else says it, but is that your legs are your engine for your heart. Your legs are absolutely crucial to your heart and they actually act as a pump for your heart to work they regulate the way your heart works and if you don't walk enough if you don't use your legs enough you're in trouble and I don't want to be in trouble I, mean, I already got in trouble with the alcohol you know so anyway it's, a, it's an interesting situation I'm gonna be doing a workout tonight because I gotta get back on this uh, I and the fast, the first day of the fast, whew, I feel so much better right now. And I don't know what that was, what the reaction was to the food. Uh, Golden Crowns, I, listen, I've ate there before, you know I have, and it's been delicious. And it was delicious uh, the other day, but boy, I had a reaction. I think, uh, well, one of the things that I didn't help myself with, and this is... Uh, kind of a bad thing and this might have precipitated it too was I went to Green Top Gun Store in Richmond it's one of the finest sporting goods stores not just a gun store it's got all kinds of sporting goods stuff in it okay they don't have any bicycles but they've got archery they've got you know hunting they've got all kinds of uh, 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 fishing stuff they've got all kinds of uh, really nice apparel and they also have some wonderful Virginia peanuts in tins and I have my diverticulitis <laughs> and I'm not supposed to be eating that stuff and they had they've got this honey roasted peanuts in a can and I just can't resist those and I I got off of work on excuse me Ooh, excuse me, I got off of work on Friday, and I knew 95 North was going to be a disaster, you know, and I said, you know what, I'm not going to go straight home, Knucklehead's fine, she's got food in her bowl, and uh, I don't have to go straight home, let me go on over to Green Top and just walk around for a while, and I'll chill, and I was like, what should I do while I'm doing that, you know, and normally, if, if you're just chilling, you know, uh, it'd be nice to have a bunchy, you know, right? So I said, well, screw it. I'll buy a can of that, of them uh, honey roasted peanuts. And I'll just nibble on them as I'm look, looking around. So I bought the can and I actually taped the receipt around the can so the guys could see. Because you've got 
cameras everywhere, everywhere you go. And the guys could see that, hey, he's got a receipt on the can. He bought it. He opened it up. And the guys at the, at the register were laughing. They're kind of like, yeah, that's not a bad idea, you know? Just eat some peanuts and look around the store. Because they got so much stuff, man. They got, oh, my God, they've got probably 500 pistols and revolvers. They probably got 500 uh, shotguns and uh, rifles. Of every different type, uh, they've got uh, hundreds of bits of apparel. They've got a wonderful archery section. They've got a massive fishing section. That fishing section, that's amazing. And uh, they've got ammo and all kinds of stuff, you know. And they've got stations where people work at. Like the archery section had a dude there that's like an archery professional. And the people that work at the gun sections, they all know their things about guns. and They've got stuff everywhere. It's, it's like being at a gun show. It's actually like being at a, at a sports show. So I went in there and I ate those honey roasted peanuts. And I knew. I said, you know what? I'm going to pay a hell of a price, but damn, these are good. You know? I'm so sorry. <sighs> I didn't mean for this. This is uh, going to 21 minutes. Um, but I just want to catch you up on what I've been doing. And, uh, but it's, it really strange that the last week, health-wise, especially, I could see where the alcohol was sort of putting a down pressure on my health, and, uh, the, the thing with the legs is, uh, very, uh, concerning from the standpoint of, listen, if this happens, if you do this, and then this negative thing happens, what do you do? You just don't do that anymore, right? <laughs> you know, it, it's like, it's like if, uh, if you're, do, you know, speeding down the road and you get a ticket and that ticket causes your insurance to go up, wouldn't the smart thing to do to, to not be speeding, you know? You don't, uh, attack the cop. You don't look at everybody else and go, well, they got away with it. You take care of you, you know. You say, look, my luck is I'll get caught. So I I could do my five miles over the speed limit, but I can't do the 15, you know. Same thing with me with the alcohol. I mean, I don't need it. I got my green tea and my black tea, and I got my, my Earl Grey and I got my peppermint and I've got all kinds of other teas too. I've got lemon tea with ginger in it and all kind of stuff. I got my fruit drinks in there and hell, I won't be eating for seven days. It's going to be interesting to see how many days I go and keep going to the bathroom and do number twos. Because last time, hell, I went like six days. And I still had uh, stuff coming out. I'm like going, if that's the case, then really, if this is normal, then I think everybody needs to fast, extended fast, because it explains why people get sick. Because you never get, your, your intestines never get a break, your body never gets a break. And if you think about it, the human body's made for feast and famine. It's not made for constant food intake when we are we're in the primitive times of our bodies being developed we would eat a large animal you know that we killed or that was carrying or something we would eat that there was no way to store it you know until we found out how to you know tan meat and stuff like that and it would go bad and we would just be out of a food source and then we would spend days you know you know we'd be getting hungrier and hungrier and hungrier you know we'd start eating berries or whatever and so but we never had a situation where we had food 100% of the time like we have now and what that did was the body engineered itself so that when you were starving it was actually going inside your body and finding stuff to use to keep you alive and that's why you know you lost the weight you uh, uh, the damage also another thing is 
if you had damage in your body because your body wanted to become more efficient it would find that damage and repair it so that you could actually chase down whatever you're trying to kill and eat you know so I don't know this has gone way too long I, I don't even know if I'll post this I, I guess I will but I don't get embarrassed too much um, I, I hope January 1st is going good for you um, it's going good for me I'm gonna get out of here and uh, oh look and this look this is how wonderful my neighbors are look this is what they gave me they gave me this that I, I, I took that I had dude I bought forty dollars worth of beer and I couldn't drink it I couldn't drink it I said you know what and, and you know the part of me that uh, I got this little bookkeeper in my head and boy he he was pitching a bitch and he was going you know uh, you just spent that money you know and the other side of me the other you know I, I view my thinking as a conference room full of people and there's always around this conference table there's all kind of different viewpoints and everybody wants to talk and you've got the one you've got two characters that aren't allowed to sit at the table one's in a in a cage at the end of the room and he he's just a vile little critter and then there's another guy that's he's just out of control he gets angry, man, and it's bad news because he can take over and bad things can happen. So he don't get to sit at the table much, but he can yell what he wants to say. But anyway, when you're when you got this bookkeeper, he's sitting at the table. He's always at the table, and he says, "You know, you spent this money. You wasted this money." And I'm like, well, "I know, I know." And then this other side goes. So, uh, Phil, last time you went to Charlestown, how much money did you lose? <laughs> and everybody at the table laughs, you know. Everybody at the table laughs because they all know how much I lost because they were all there, you know. And the bookkeeper just shakes his head. He says, you know, your dad was so right about you. <laughs> and my dad said, you know what, Phil? You will never stand prosperity, you know. <laughs> so... It was no skin off of my neck to collect all this beer up. And I actually, it was kind of weird because I collected all the beer up and I looked for my neighbor who was down the street. And I didn't see him. I said, you know, I'm going to put it in my, my trunk of my car. <clears throat> and if I don't find nobody to take this beer, because I'm kind of selective about who I give alcohol to, I don't want to just give it to anybody. I, you know, you gotta. You don't want to cause a problem for. You don't want to give it to somebody who's got a genuine alcohol problem. You want to give it to somebody who's just a regular schmo who has fun and, you know, they drink on the weekends and they enjoy it. You know, you don't want to give it to an alcoholic. You want to give it to somebody that's, you know. So anyway, put it in the truck of my car and I said, well, if God wants my neighbor to have it, uh, he'll show me. So I put it in the trunk of my car, and I was driving out. I was heading to Lowe's. Sure enough, he was in the front yard. He, I mean, he hadn't been in the front yard. I looked like I looked out the the, the house for an hour. I I, I didn't I'm not I didn't look out for a solid hour, but I looked out you know once, and then I said, "Oh, he's not there," you know. And I looked in the back. I said, well, "He's not there." Said, okay, well, cool, you know, whatever. I put my put the stuff in the car, and there he was. I said, "You know." buddy, God wants you to have this. And I went to the back of the car, I opened it, and says, I said, he says, what's this? I said, well, here's some beer, here's some beer, and here's some beer. <laughs> and later on, they came over, and they gave me these wonderful, absolutely delicious butter cookies, and they gave me a, uh, uh, a Happy New Year's card, a Christmas card, whatever, and they gave me a, uh, a, a, uh, gift card for Cracker Barrel. Just great people. So anyway, I'm about to run out of time here. I've run my mouth for half an hour. I hope you're having a great uh, 2024 so far. Please take care of yourself. Um, there's no requirement that you have to fulfill that hurts you. Take care of yourself. God bless you and I hope 
The Lord is with you every day. He's with you every day. He's with you right now. Just ask Him for some help and note it. You're here to spread some joy in this world. God bless you. And I'll keep kicking this tripod. And I'm going to smack myself in the head here in a minute. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. God bless you. And we'll see you tonight because i got to do that workout. God bless you and have a wonderful July 1st, 2024. Peace.